Yo, what's up guys? Today we'll be showcasing you guys Star Pass unit for the free side, Old Will Bikao. The Old Will is uh my old world level 175. 2k. Oh we gotta take out the orb real quick. Cause that's actually skewing the stats. There we go, that's his actual range. 40 range, 59.9 .9, uh damage, 3 attack speed, with 2k place down at level 175, as well as a special ability as a burn. As a ground type with six categories captains, martial art, mutilate, master class, spirit warriors, and progressive. With leader skills in the progressive class, plus 20% attack boost, plus a 10% money boost as well. So, yeah, this unit looks pretty nice. It looks pretty strong, actually, really strong. But let's go see how well it does in a showcase. Alrighty, let's place down Old Will. So, Old Will has a pretty good AoE uh, cone if it loads. W. Here we count, sending 1.9k damage, 3 attack speed, and 40 range. The attack speed is really, really good, actually. That's a really good attack speed, 3 attack speed, with a very good damage for starting um, placement damage. However, it's a 2k place down, so that means, like, you know, it's kind of expensive to place down. Probably takes, like, 3, 4 waves, 5 waves to place them down, but I think it'll be worth at the end. So let's put a turn on our uh, attack effects, by the way. Turn it on. And cutscenes. So let's try that again. So let's see the animation. He just throws fire at him. Okay. <laughs> let's see that one more time. So he just throws fire at him. He also gets his hybrid pretty early on, just by looking at it. 40k, but it's like, pretty expensive to upgrade though, sadly. Pretty expensive to upgrade. But it does get hybrid in his first upgrade. So 40k, first upgrade, hybrid. And second upgrade, 328k. Um it just literally just gets six mil out of nowhere. Um <laughs> His attacks begins from um, three from three seconds to eight seconds, as well as gains uh, thirty five more range. Blazing pillar, two hundred twenty eight k. So now it becomes four AOE. Four AOE. Let's go see the animation. Let's go see the animation. Blazing pillar. Animation wise, this is kind of lame. This is kind of lame at the moment. It does does a crap ton of damage though. All right, fifteen point six mil, Biku, and it gains more damage. But this is incredibly expensive, honestly. But Biku, multiple abilities. He gains multiple abilities. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see the first one. So let's see, there's multiple abilities. Let's see the first one. He has four four abilities. East. What does East do? So he switch modes. These are modes. These are just actually straight up modes. So this one he becomes a a weak a weak cone. It's pretty fast. He's like only a ground type at this mode though. But it's a pretty fast beater with 28.5 mil damage, 3.5 seconds attack speed at 100 range. All right. So what's west? West is 11.7 million damage, five attack speed at 100 range, but it becomes a, but he becomes an air unit. That's his animation. Inferno. I think this is uh his bird is much more um, prominent in this mode. But he does become error mode in this mode. <coughs> Aoe cone does. I don't know. But five second attack speed. It's not bad. All right, south. Single target. Okay, single target, 24.9 million damage, 45 second attack speed, and 70 range. Alright, let's lower down the health bar. Oh, but it summons though. He summons. Wait, this is a summon. You can summon in this mode. You can straight up summon stuff in this mode. Wait, that's pretty good. Yo, that's actually decent. It's not bad. That was going to be bad, but he could actually summon. Let's see what he actually does. Oh, he doesn't even attack. Wait, he doesn't have an attack in this mode. In, in south mode, he doesn't have an attack. He still needs some of his minions. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. This is this mode sucks. I think this mode is just for memes, honestly. Oh, but when it hits, it, it does burn damage. Yeah, when it hits, the minions hit, it does burn damage. So it's not bad, bad, but it's not that good. 
Alright, the final mode, north. Boy, a weak cone. 25.6 million damage, 15 attack speed, and 150 range. <laughs> so this is really slow, but he does do a crap ton of damage on this mode. Animation is different, but eh, it's whatever. I think the mode you want to use the most is... I don't think you can even go back to the... I actually don't think you can go back to Boya Wii. Wait, you can't actually not go back to Boya Wii. Alright, let's go and buff these. We'll buff them for each mode, by the way. Also, this unit is a one placement. Alright, first mode, 99.9 .9 million damage, 3.5 attack speed, and 120 range. This is actually really good. Very good, in fact. This is really, really good. But this is crazy good. Alright, next one. West. So West is right now 11.7 million damage, 5 attack speed, and 100 range. Buff. 41.1 million damage, 5 attack speed, and 120 range. This is alright, but this is has an air mode. So this is probably used for infinite, um, infinite air. So it's looking pretty good stats. South. Wait for the another buff. Eighty-seven point four range of attack, forty-five range attack speed, and eighty-four range. Does it increase? Uh, yes, it does. So it does stack with the minions. But this is honestly kind of trash. Something's in the kind of trash, though. You wouldn't be using this mode deck ever. North. <coughs> 25.6 million damage. 15 attack speed and 150 range. Let's buff it. 89.9 .9 range of damage. 15 attack speed and 180 range. Yeah, I think the mode you are going to be using the most is east and west. You're not using south and north. South and north are kind of really bad. So like using um, East for normal infinite, West for air infinite, and that's pretty much it. The other, other stuff is not that good. Oh, by the way, let's go and buff it for the uh, raid mode upgrade. Just the raid mode upgrade. 21.7 million damage, 8 attack speed, and 90 range. At 4 AOE, um, 4 AOE and um, air. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. This is actually really good. Really, really good. Honestly, I don't know if you <coughs> actually want to ever like get rid of um this mode. Like, you just don't touch the ability, right? You just straight up don't touch the ability and just keep like the keep like the boy we instead. Like the abilities are just it's it's good. Don't get me wrong, but you're losing boy we when you like click on it. Like, look, look at the damage. Three point seven million damage. A attack speed at ninety range. Like you're losing like I don't know sixty million if you go into like uh east, but. 4 AOE, man. You can't argue with 4 AOE. Honestly, this is the best burn unit in the game right now. I would say this is like the best burn unit. But yeah, I don't know about the abilities, man. I think the abilities are kind of trash. <laughs> I think they're kind of trash compared to like just keeping this to 4 AOE. So this is like S minus, uh, S tier for um, raids. S tier for raids, honestly. This is a end game, mid game and end game defender. Not much of an early game defender. As well as um, this is a very good uh, infinite mode unit with four AOE and with four abilities that you could use and play around with. And if you don't like it, you could uh, you could just like stick with four AOE honestly. So this is S tier for um, raids. Just because I'm putting this in S tier, just because it's kind of expensive to uh, start off with. But it's really good for raids. And S plus for infinite. This is a four AOE air. It's usable in any like any infinite mode um, content. And I would recommend this unit. So if you don't have this unit, go get it. It's a, it's in the free uh, Star Pass uh, portion of the Star Pass. So yeah, thank you for all for watching. Um, I'll be back next time with another um, All-Star Child Defense Showcase. In the meantime, have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.